These are a couple of techniques I use uh, for follow me that I've found to save me some time. Um, the first thing we'll start with here is this uh, structure here. It's got lots of uh, bump outs. Uh, it could be a bookcase or a, a wall. Um, whatever uh, moldings we decide to run around this are going to have to follow this uh, profile. It could take a lot of time to uh, draw out the uh, um, path with the line tool. So uh, I'm going to show you a different technique. First I'll uh, go in here and we'll start placing the molding profiles. We'll start with a base at the bottom. And we'll slide up. We'll grab a, maybe a picture rail. We'll place that. And we'll finish off with a crown at the top. And we'll get that right there in position. Now the path has to be part of the group or component that your molding profile is in. So I'm going to need to double click to open this component for editing. And now it's time to run the path. I'm going to use a rectangle tool here. I'll start in this corner. I'll uh, hover over this corner for a second just to inference it so I can come straight back. And I'll continue drawing rectangles. And I've got one more to draw. There we go. Now I can take the eraser and get rid of the uh, parts that I don't want, which is the back side here. I don't want it to wrap her all the way around. And then these uh, intersections here, here, and here. Now if I use a crossing box, I'll select that entire path pretty quickly. Uh, all the moldings that we set up the side of this uh, wall or cabinet are all going to follow the same profile, so I'm going to save some time by copying that uh, profile, or that path actually. I'll zoom in here and we'll uh, go to follow me. There's my path. Now I will open the uh, picture rail and we'll paste in our path. First time you uh, paste in the path it's going to kind of be out here in space. We'll just set it down, go back to that corner and pick it up. And we'll zoom in here make sure we got that connected. We'll run follow me for this one. And we got one more left to do. There we are. Open it for editing. Paste in. And you'll notice now I'm grabbing it by the point that I selected first. Uh, there we go. So now all my moldings are run around uh, this complex uh, shape. Uh, I can still adjust things, say the size of this frieze looks a little strange, it's too tall, I can select the molding, uh, I grab the move tool, grab it, and then just move it up in the blue direction and uh, place it anywhere where I uh, think it's going to look good proportionally. Um, we'll run over here to a uh, wainscoting detail, I'll grab this uh, rabbited molding or bolection molding and we'll set it in place here. Again, we'll open the component to edit because we want the path to be within the uh, actual component. Grab the rectangle tool again and draw in my shape. Now, since we're going all the way around, um, I can use the face as my path because it also includes all the edges. So once I've selected that, you can grab follow me and Zoom in here. There we go. Now if I right click on the face, I can erase it. And there's my uh, uh, panel molding inset. Uh, I can swing around the back here. We'll uh, select the molding, grab the move tool, and by pressing control once, I'll get a uh, addition symbol next to my move icon that tells me that I'm in the copy mode. What I'll do is just grab it by this uh, corner here, and we'll uh, move a copy. If I press the uh, right arrow key, it'll lock in the red direction. I'll slide it down and do 2x for two times. And that should complete my panel. So all my moldings are in. Um, just a couple different ways to use it. I uh, hope maybe it helps somebody.